Greetings and salutations, fellow viewers of Game Guys. I am Cato Gallowsbane. Welcome back to Cato's Corners here at Game Guys. I have accomplished something quite tremendous, and today we are going to do a big shift in the build. So, previously, I defeated Rolana, and I was able to take her Remembrance back to the Round Table Hold and turn it into the boss weapon, Rolana's Twin Blades. I fully upgraded these to plus 10 with Somber Smithing Stones. So if you look at the attack power, it's 252 plus 116. It also does magic and fire damage. Let's have some fun with this. So. So. Let's... First off, I believe I do have a larval tier. I need to consult the inventory. Yes. I have a larval tier, so I'm good for the respec. Time to make my merry way over to Rhea Lucaria Grand Library, for this is where Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, resides. You know, the usual the usual rinse and repeat deal of respecking. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and unequip everything. I am going to need these. I will need this. I need these three things. At least. Okay. Currently level 116. Well, we're definitely going to keep Vigor at 50. That's that's non-negotiable. So strength needs to... Okay, we're good on strength. Dex needs to be at 16. Intelligence, 16. Faith, 16. Now we can wield Rolana's Twin Blades. How do we want to round out this build? Well, I'm going to get Endurance up to 25, so I will be... Taking a bit of a dip in equipment load. Mind, I want to get up to... Th Let's start with 25, 25 for now. And now here's my thought process. We could just go strength. We can, do, we can just go like full dex. Because all three of these stats... Oh, you know what I could do? I could focus on fire. So we could go dex followed by faith. Intelligence would be taking a, a bit of a dip. Alright, let's go 30 endurance. 30 mind over the 30 endurance. 30, 30 mind, 25 endurance. I mean, if I really want to equip something heavy, I can just throw in a great Char's arsenal. Ah. Dex scaling, interfaith scaling. Because I want to put points into Dex to get that physical scaling. And I'm thinking we do faith for the to boost the fire damage. So yeah, so Dex and faith it is. I'll prioritize Dex over Faith because the physical damage is going to be good. Okay, here is our current Rolana Twin Blades build. 50 Vigor, 30 Mind, 25 Endurance, 16 fucking Strength, 24 Dexterity. Feel free to tell everyone I leveled this up. Intelligence at 16 to meet the stat requirements and Faith at 23. So we're going to go with the Dex and Faith uh, damage scaling. Physical as well as... Uh, I like the twirly fire effects. And then the magic wand I don't really use as often when I was playtesting this weapon my first time playing through the expansion. It's good for range and to get some extra poke damage, but for the most part, I prefer to get just the fire damage. So yeah. Okay. Now then, let's start with the full set of Radons, see what that looks like. Well, Radons plus, of course we need Terrans, or, now I have a bit better reason to equip the dickhead helm. Hey, look at this. Wait, hers is bigger than mine, but she's also literally physically bigger than me. Aren't your knees getting, oh wait, she's sitting in a chair. Intelligence increased by 16. I mean, yeah, I say we just go with this. I mean, plus three intelligence, that does give me some extra damage with the blue blue raspberry attack. Rolana's cameo. Enhances attacks executed after maintaining the same stance for a while. We definitely want this one. Uh, Carrion filigree, lowers FP consumed. Of course, green turtle talisman. We are going to be burning through stamina. And what should our fourth one be? Extra health? Yeah, I'll take extra health. There is a plus two ver there's a plus three version we can grab at some point. Okay. Next up. Look how massive that health bar is. Wondrous Physique. Cerulean Hidden Tier. And Boost Fire Attacks. So we got Flame Shredding Crack Tier and Cerulean Hidden Tier. 
Temporarily boosts fire attacks in mixed physic. Eliminates all FP consumption in mixed physic. So when I wanna so when I have a good opportunity to spam the fire tornado, this combination should be just dandy. Okay, so quick overview of the new fresh build. We're now using Rolanda's Twin Blades at plus 10. They have a C scaling worth all that, so I picked one physical, one magical. So we're gonna go with Dex and Faith. So our physical scaling is getting up, and then our fire scaling will also go up a little bit as we get some more uh, points into those. And then as I continue to level through Shadows of the Earth Tree, we're just, I'm going to keep, keep putting points in between Dex and Faith. Because at this point, I'm now leveling up to scale my damage. We got 50 Vigor still, 30 Mine, 25 Endurance, Strength in just to meet the requirements. I'm wearing this just to feel, just because I'm feeling spicy today. We're Don's gear set. Rolanda's cameo with carry and fill request, the green turtle talisman. This will also get replaced with a better talisman, and then this will get replaced with a better version of that talisman. I'm gonna go ahead and split these up. Let's say 12 and 2. 12, uh, 12 fruit punch to cool blue Gatorades. Almost got a paper cut. Or there. What I what I meant to do. Flasks. Alright, we need to allocate. 12 and 2. There we go. Okay. Um, we can also unequip all these, like, sorceries. I'm not going to use these anymore. Yeah, don't need to equip anything. This is about it. All right. And now we are going to go back to the Shadow Realm. We can get that map fragment. And let's go here. We have made it to the Skadueltis. And the tree is dripping a certain something. I kind of like to imagine there's like some giants on those trees just taking a dump and it's like really sticky and it's slowly... Uh, okay, never mind. I'm done with that. We're done. We're moving on. Another scatter tree fragment. Most excellent find. Okay, well, talking to these fine folks, time to move on. I have a map fragment to acquire. I think. Uh, let's get the map fragment, then I want to test my new weapon against Horseman. Alright, so we got the map of the Skadu Altus. Here it is. Whoops. Alright, time to fight the Horseman. Up, Bidu! Hello. Alright, dude, what's going on? Alright, so he's gonna do some slam attack or whatever, some shit. Oh, yeah. How do I use this weapon again? I need to consult the... Got it. And we do the flippity flip flip. Yeah! Right into the esophagus. That was a deep dive into the esophagus right there. So yeah, Rinala's Twin Blades. By holding down... The, uh, by holding down left trigger on your Xbox controller, you press right bumper, you can shoot these blue light la laser things, or right trigger, and you can spin in a smoke of fire. And because I have Rinala in red, this does extra damage. And if I consume the flame, and if I consume this, for instance, now I'll, and then I do this. Now I got two damaging buffs stacked with a, with a crowd flame shroud crack tier. Blah. But then the other crack tier in the physic, look at my, my blue bar. Hang on, hang on. I thought eliminates all FP consumption. Did it not eliminate FP consumption? What's going on? That's weird. Yeah, eliminates all FP consumption. I shouldn't have been draining. Well, that's odd. Well, anyway, I must consult the directory. After consulting the directory, we are going to these sites of beacons. No reason in particular. Oh, well, while I'm in the neighborhood, I might as well pick this up. Oh, hey, a scatter tree fragment. Neat. Off to adventure this way. 
with the pointed nipple building. In the mess. Well, this guy is a big asshole. All right, ready, ready. Well, could use, if there's ever an incentive. Whoops. Everyone attacks instantly. And it has good sta stagger potential as well. Sippy time for both of us. Although, let's be real, your health bar is a lot bigger than mine. Don't worry, a few more scatter tree fragments in me. I'll be coming back to deal with your bold haircut. Fucking ass. It's 10k runes. I'm just gonna let that go. But I did get the scatter tree fragment. So. We can mark it. See, I'm the type of gamer that likes to collect everything before I use them. Didn't I get this one already? Yes, I did. So we can mark this. So now we gotta go this way, towards three. Why, greetings, Sir Knight. I wonder if that got his jimmies in a bunch. What's up? <clears throat> and while I'm in the neighborhood... Okay, almost got stuck. Ah, I got, I got tickled. Uh, when my pickle gets tickled, I don't know what to do but scrickle my kickle. I have no idea what that meant. And uh, while I'm in the neighborhood, all right. Oh, here it is. <laughs> hey, we got some guy here. I got that one already, right? Well, let me go ahead and mark this one, since I did get it. We'll talk to this Edgelord. So that voice actor didn't, sh didn't, didn't, did a no-call, no-show that day. I gotta work on my delivery. Are you gonna roll? Aw, oh, you're so cute when you roll. The goats can roll in the game. Just double-checking to see if I got this one already. Uh, the answer is yes, yes, I did. Well, while well, I'm in the neighborhood. So, this is the part where I, as they say, uh, get out of Dodge. And into a, a Jeep Cherokee. I'm gonna go this way now. And most excellent indeed. Another scatter tree fragment, which I can now mark off here. Excellent. What a time to be alive. Ooh. Is this a hidden ur tree? Heal from afar. Oh. We got we got we got a secret. Golden Order group here at the Altus, at the Altus Gateau. Yeah, right back up, just like that. Here, watch this. Ready? All right. Let's see if I can get this guy to do it again. So this little weird whatever. Okay, never mind. I am gonna pick this up though. Wait, wait, wait. I got, I got, I got a. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, foul, four-toed foul foot. I don't know what that does. And what do we have over here? That's a spirit ash. All right, man. You and me, and then we go to friendlies. Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna have to use the fire attack. Maybe not so. 
Oh my god, this guy's such a cockhead. He has little cocks on his head. Wait, why am I not doing as much damage? Oh my god, I got swiped by a shadow fuck and that killed me. I need more scatter tree fragments anyways. This dude's a bit overtuned compared to me. And we get up to eight. Nice. Okay. Now we are at scatter tree blessing eight. We are slowly and steadily getting up there. All right, after consulting the directory, these are the next stops. And you know what? Now that I got a couple more scatter trees in me and that goat is rolling, we are getting straight to it. Oh, go take an aspirin and get over it. All right, I got my 5,000 runes back. We. The fuck, asshole. One second. Ugh. All right, round two. Let's do it. Yep. As you can tell, I'm now already doing a lot more damage just by getting my Scatter Tree Blessing up a few more levels. Little patience and perseverance can go a long way. And this is why the Green Turtle Talisman is a fantastic, fun for the whole family utility talisman. Look how I needed to re regen that stamina. I was like, Whoo! Yes, I want to bring the horsey back. Welcome back, Torrent. Okay, so I have an idea. How about you stay down there, and I will continue. Well, now the pock guy is gone, and it's all your fault. I just found who I was supposed to take out. Twirly McFuckle Nuggets here. Yeah, welcome to the Shadows of the Earth Tree. Everyone here has, like, a stamina score of, like, 70. Stop with the goddamn combo attacking. Now it is my turn. Ooh. See, you got so many cool like weapon combos with a paired weapon. You can right right trigger to do this, you can right bumper to do this, you can left bumper to pretend to be a dual katana build, or you can have fun. Now, uh, if you gaze, behold the beauty that is the best build for Elden Ring Shadows of the Earth Tree. Peak gaming performance right here. Anyways, I thank you all for joining me on today's uh, endeavor, and I will see you on the next one.